Hi foodies, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to be making Hyderabadi Sutriya or Chakoli. Here we go, this is how it looks and it's very very yummy. If you're new to my channel, please make sure that you like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thanks to all my subscribers who have shown me so much love. Please continue showing that love. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a look at the ingredients for Hyderabadi Sutriya or Chakoli. So I'm taking um, one teaspoon of turmeric powder. I'm taking two teaspoons of red chili powder. I've taken um, half a lemon juice. Uh, I've taken one teaspoon of garam masala powder. I've taken uh, two uh, tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. I've taken one um, onion and I've chopped it. I've taken three medium sized tomatoes chopped. Um, I've taken three tablespoons of yogurt. Um, I've taken about six to seven uh, green chilies. Now this is just based on taste. If you like um, a spice, then please add a bit more. I've taken a handful of mint leaves. I've taken a handful of coriander leaves. I've taken about uh, 750 grams of lamb. You can use any meat that you like. Uh, you can either take boneless or on the bone. I've taken on the bone for this recipe. I've taken about um, 8 to 10 uh, chapatis. Now these are uh, leftover chapatis um, or you can make fresh as well. But leftover chapatis are good to kind of like use. Um, and what I've done is I've actually uh, made uh, these into small pieces as you can see. Okay, um, I'm going to be using 3 tablespoons of oil. And last but not the least... Uh, salt as per taste okay so uh, to the lamb I'm going to be adding the ginger garlic paste I'm going to be adding the tomatoes I'm now adding the onions I'm now adding the red chili powder I'm adding the turmeric powder and I'm going to be adding the yogurt Okay, I'm going to be adding salt as per taste. I'm going to give it a nice mix. To this, I'm going to be adding uh, one cup of water. And now I'm going to be adding the oil. Okay, so I'm going to give it a nice mix and I'm going to switch on the flame as well. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to um, keep this uh, to cook. And I'm going to cook it in a pressure cooker and I'm going to um, let it cook for about five whistles and then I'll tell you the next steps. Here we go. So uh, a lamb looks really well cooked. What I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this into another pan. Okay. And I'm going to uh, dry all this um, juice as you can see along with the lamb and then I'll tell you what the next steps are. So here we go. I've transferred this into another pan. And I'm going to let it cook on a high flame and I'm just going to let, um, you know, this sauce kind of like get a bit dry uh, so that it's kind of like absorbed really well with the lamb. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. You can see that I've reduced, um, you know, the gravy. And now at this stage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding about one bowl of water. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to add uh, other spices as well. Okay, so after I've added the water, I'm going to be adding the garam masala, okay, to it. I'm going to be adding the lime juice. And I'm going to be adding coriander leaves, mint leaves, and the green chilies. Okay, now that you can see that the water has come to a boil, I'm going to be adding the chapatis to this and I'm going to mix it really well. Okay, here we go. So this is now ready and we'll just plate this up. This, uh, at the minute, the smell of it and the aroma is amazing. Here we go. Our Hyderabadi Sutriya or Chakolia are ready. Uh, I've just garnished it with some coriander leaves. And I've also added a little bit of ghee or clarified butter. Tuck in and enjoy. And if you're new to my channel, please make sure that you like, share and subscribe to my channel.